Hey, D'Angelo. What's up, JC? Hey, man, you hear the news? What news? Man, you know Jules Randall not gonna be here tonight, man. You know, he uh, dealing with pneumonia. S seriously? Yeah, man, he's doing you know, pneumonia, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, got a chance to rock and roll. You know, we can get out there and hopefully do something, you know. We, we missing our man. We missing our ball handler. Damn. Oh, man, I didn't even know that. So what time we the game tonight? You know the time of the game. Where you been at, man? You know, I've been watching uh, Good Time, you know. JJ Dynamite, he funny as crap. All right, well, look, I'll catch you at the game tonight. I'm going to go work on my um shots, you know, because I got this little drill I'm going to try to pull off. All right, man, I'll catch up with you. Damn. She was random out here. Man, screw that, man. I got a time to shine. Go get my freaking shoes out the freaking cereal box, man. It's time for me to get my game on now. You know what I mean? Can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm tired of people calling me a bust. It's time for me to come out and show these guys what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? Lace up these little popcorn shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but to get me some freaking jelly curl, you know, juice and jack it up in my hand. Let's lick it back. Yeah, boy, I'll get let me get fine, man. Pretty boy swag, pretty boy swag. Get real fine up in this thing, you know what I'm saying? It's about me, I'm, it's about to go down. I'm about to show all these clowns that I'm the freaking truth. They up there thinking I'm freaking a bum and I'm, I suck and my knees are hurting me and my legs are like tree limbs. I'm, I'm going to come come hard or, or, or not come off. I'm going to do my thing. You know what I mean? I'm going to, oh my gosh, I can see me now. Yep, yep. Let me put on my favorite drawers. All right, yeah, the little tight ones. Ah, uh, a little squeezy, but it's all good. I'm going to get out there and do my thing because ain't nobody going to stop deloading night, baby. I'm going to deload on all these people. They're going to see that I can pass. I got the IQ. Hey, D-Lo. What's up, Zublock? Hey, I'm never talking to you for eight minutes. Oh, no, man, I, I, look, I'm about to do something, man. I, I, I'll get with you later. No, look, look. You pet me the ball, and I love you all day long. Ah, oh, oh, come on. I'm going to give you the rock. You know, what, you know what to do with the rock? Yeah, I know what to do with the rock. I see you guys all day smoking rock. No, 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 no. I'm going to give you the ball. Oh, okay, I get you now. I'm going to, okay. Just make sure you give me the ball. You give me the ball, I'm going to dominate for you, my friend. I'm going to do my thing because I love you. Oh, gosh. d going to get his thing off. Yo, 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 yo. It's your man. <laughs> What's up, you? It's your man, Urban Lover, coming from your mama's basement. That's the little intro by my man, Eddie Starr, back in the days before the dogs. You know, ate the dude up from off the dump, dumpster truck. <laughs> no, nah, Eddie, but if you're out there, brother, holla at your family, man. We trying to figure out where you at. Anyway, so I made a video. <laughs> I made a video not too long ago about you know Lou Walton, you know starting young players. So <laughs> what? what uh, and I said that uh, you know, and this is just me personally, like uh, just by me by observation, you know. Everybody say DeAndre Russell's a bust. I say look, start him at the two. But if Byron Scott, you know, last year and now Lou Walton this year really believes him at being the point. I think that they really need to go full throttle on him, man, and let the guy bring the ball down. Um, and the reason why I say that, because I don't have nothing against Julius Randle. But my thing is this. Julius Randle cannot shoot a jumper. He brings the ball down. Now, some games he looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie about that. But 90% of the time when he brings that ball down, Julius Randle is looking to score first. And when the teams, when opp opposing teams clog the middle up, he has the tendency to kick it out. You know, he doesn't really always look. For the initial player right off the bat he's looking to score first and see that to me is like a downfall because i like Julius randall but the only problem is that you know at the end of the day he has the ball he doesn't he doesn't have a you know a court vision type iq you know to find players all the time you know it's like when he come down if you ever watch some of his game when he come down and as soon as you see the, the uh you know the double team coming or the clogging of the middle come he'll just spin around and whoever's trailing him he'll kick it out to that guy either the side left whatever it may be it's not like a really set offense. It's not like where he runs to a spot, pass to the next man, to that man pass, and they just rotate the ball around until they find an open man. It's just you just come down, he would find D'Angelo or Nick Young on a wing, bam, bam, bam. That's how it is, you know, and that's that's how I look at it. Now, like I said before, I know he's still young. He's still raw. He's still running around like he's the tank, you know, still knocking guys over. I still love his game. Don't get me wrong. But I said in the last video, I said that, you know, it seemed like to me, D'Angelo Russell cannot play with Julius Randle. It, 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 that's what it seemed like to me. Now, Lou Walton came out and said that him and Jordan Clarkson can't play, to, play together. Right? And this is what he said he's seen in preseason, something like that. And, and the guy from last year said that exact same thing on his staff. It was whatever. I put the video in my last video um, when I said, you know, about the Lakers, you know, the last video with the Lakers um, going with the youth if they decide to tank. But I put the video with Lou Walton expressing 
his uh, theory of why Jordan Clarkson and uh, Dandre Russell just can't mix. And the reason why Jordan Clarkson, he ain't he, he going full detail, but kind of why Jordan Clarkson come off the bench. In his mind, he believed that him and D'Angelo can't work it out. But see, my thing is this. It, this whole year is basically a development year. You're never going to know what you got if you don't put them on the floor together. Period. Simple as simple put. You know, uh, if you're trying to win, that's understandable. But if you develop the players, then why not let Jordan Clarkson and D'Angelo Russell start in the backcourt? Give them a chance, man. I think that you should at least give them a chance. I know you started in preseason. I think preseason? Yeah, in the, in the preseason. And it didn't look too good for you. And I think that's what he was talking about. But I just want to share this. D'Angelo Russell, quote me, or something, quote me if I'm wrong, had 10 assists. He dropped 10 dimes. 10 dimes. With no Julius Randle. And I said that, you know, putting Larry Nance at power forward. And a lot of guys say, you know, um, I think it was, I forgot who it was in the comments. I said, you know, last year, you know, yeah, starting Larry, Larry Nance would have been, you know, probable. I mean, uh, you know, a bit, been pretty much the right thing to do. But this year, because of injuries and, you know, fell off a little bit. He's like, nah, I wouldn't start him. But see, here's the thing. The problem is that people got to understand you don't need everybody to score 25 points. See, when everybody gets, see, the thing is, when you got five guys, and all five guys are looking to, looking for their shots, everybody's not going to get up, get to shoot 15 shots in that, in that starting five. Everybody can't shoot 15 shots. It just won't happen. Some pip, some players got to do the other initiative, like play defense, you know, um, set up other players you know a whole lot of different things there's different dynamics to a game it's just not just about you scoring and that's what a lot of people fail to realize you don't have to score 20 30 points to be a freaking superstar man you know what i'm saying you take whatever the defense give you <clears throat> now with larry nance like i said before i like larry nance i like Julius randall i just think larry nance to me or thomas robinson but i think i like them guys better i'm, I'm not saying that Julius randall cannot really you know Look, you know, cannot really play with D'Angelo Russell. I just think that, Laura, I mean, um, Luke Walton really needed to just let D'Angelo Russell bring the ball down. If you're going to be, if he's going to be the point guard, and we have to understand that he's going to be a point guard, this is what they're actually trying to push him to be. Then at the end of the day, let him bring the ball down. Let Julius Randle get down low. Let Zoo Block or Moss come out of the paint and let Julius Randle work down low and do a lot of pick and rolls, you know, down low to get Julius Randle easier layups, easier shots. But that what comes with experience. The better you get at that position, that point guard, and also when Julius Randle become better as a power forward, then you can start seeing the tantrum starting to break loose where now these guys are actually starting to gel much more. But to me, the Julius Randle, Draymond Green role, it just doesn't seem good for me because number one, Julius Randle is not good at defense. He doesn't have no real good low post moves. Um, He can't shoot, you know, and it's like it's a burden because this is the thing that people feel to realize on that first unit. If you look at that first unit, like I said before and I say it again, the only scores you really got on that first unit is D'Angelo Russell and Nick Young. It's easy for scouts to actually play that first unit. That's why the first unit looks so bad than the second unit. They only got two scores. I mean, two scores that can light it up. But the problem is you double down on him. You double up. Nick Young get the shot. You run him off the perimeter. You know, you put arms in You put um, hands in his face. Same thing with D'Angelo. You keep him out, out the paint. You know what I mean? You know, double up, make him force a turnover, something like that. And when Julius Randle got the ball, all you got to do is bring two men up to the front. He can't get down low because he got to get work through them two guys. And that's all they got. They don't, and if you notice, they don't really look for Moss. Like when Moss, I said it before, Moss to me is, is a pretty good player. I'm not saying he's the best, but he's okay. And I know everybody hide on Zoo Block because I am too. But let's also look at that game last night against the Nuggets. Moss had a good game. Even though he played like 20-something minutes, he had a good game, man. And there was a play, and I know everybody was too busy looking at JC doing a little work, you no know, breakdown, you know, and everybody got, woo, wow, whoa, look at that, wow, oh my gosh. And then JC takes the jump and shot an air ball. But before that play, before he started breaking the player down, whatever, whatever, did you see Moss that deep in the paint with his hands waving? Like, give me the ball, give me the ball. And JC just looked at him. See, that's what comes with experience. You know, after over the course of time, as a player, you're going to start to learn to get more and more better with it. Because that right there was an easy layup. You know, JC instead wanted to make a jump shot. But he could have went to Moss. Moss could have took his man, made it. Like, like I said, the, the, the only sad part that, that really obsessed me is this. Zublock getting the game. They run plays for Zublock. Like, they really run plays for this guy. He went 8 for 9. And I'm not knocking Zublock because he's 19. The guy is freaking phenomenal. I like him. 
but they don't really run no plays for Miles Garvin, and, and, and it upsets me because if you're going to pay a man that much money, you got to use him. I've been saying that over and over in all my videos. You got to use Miles. You see Miles coming out, he's trying his best. Matter of fact, let's go to the, the let's go to the Dagon stats because, like I said, Miles had a good game to me, you know, and I'm going to get to the uh, team stats after this. But Miles had a good game to me, to me, you know, and, and I'm going to talk about my man D-Lo, D you know, but Miles, he played 23 minutes, he had six boards, he had three blocks, he had 12 points, he was four for five for the field goal, you know what I mean? And they took advantage of them missing, um, what's, it, what's that guy named, Zarvik, whatever his name is, or... I can't think of the daggone guy named from Denver, Denver Nuggets. I got to look his name up. Anyway, by him not being in the paint, you know, that, that uh, the guy they usually had that was there that scored third orders last time. If anybody remembers his name, please throw it out there in the uh, comment section, you know, because I ain't got time right now. I got I to gotta get out here and fish for some fishy fish. But anyway, Miles, you know, they took advantage of it. They, and, and they worked down low. But Miles, like I said, Miles could have had a good game, man. He could have had a double-double. But he only played 23 minutes. And I'm not knocking it, you know what I mean, because I love to see more Zoo Block. But Miles, at the end of the day, they should run more plays for Miles. I've been saying it from day, you know, not day one, but like after what? They started going to the losing streak. I said they really should start utilizing Miles. But anyway, let's go to D'Angelo Russell. Now, he didn't really have a good shooting game because he was 7 for 17. You know, 2 for 7 behind a 3 point arc. I mean, he missed a couple free throws, but he hit the ones that really count the most. Now, he had 7 rebounds. This guy was close to having a triple-double. 10 assists, 1 steal, even a block shot. Two turnovers, which is good to me. 22 points. 22 points, 10 assists. No Julius Randle. And we won. And, I, and I'm not knocking Julius Randle. I just think that with D'Angelo, if you're going to make him the point guard, let him hit the ball in his hand, man. Let you know, In order for him to learn, he got to he got to go through the, up, the ups and downs in order to learn how to be a point guard. You know, he's going to make mistakes. He's going to make turnovers. He's only 20 years old. He, he really was just thrown into the point guard position because he was playing shooting guard most of his life. You know what I mean? And the good thing is he was freeing his homeboy. Swaggy P, you know what I mean? And I don't remember, I remember somebody came up one time and said, these two guys don't get along. You know, this year, I'm like, man, what the hell are these people talking about? These, some of these writers just be making up any type of story just to draw people in. And he hit Swaggy P, and Swaggy P was knocking them threes down, man. You know, Swaggy P and him, like I told you, if you look at the starting five, Swaggy P and Russell. Now, I'm not knocking Miles. Miles can score when he wants to if the ball is given to him. Uh, Lou Aldane, good on defense. Just can't never find his offense. He had good stinks where he played pretty good. But then there's games where he just don't show up at all. But, you know, he did you know, he did his little thing, man. You know, he played, you know, played pretty good defense. You know, got a couple blocks. I got to give him that, you know, a couple more. Um, a couple more. Um, for, um, for, um, uh, Farad, Farad, Ferrari, whatever his name is. He's not a Ferrari, but anyway. But, you know, yeah, I be butchering names. I don't give a damn. I butcher them all, you know. I butcher my own toenails. Ow! But anyway, um... He played. He played a really good game, though, man. You know, um, Tar Black played pretty good. Like I told you, powerful position. You know what I mean? Get more rebounds. You know, Tar Black playing off of Miles, looking pretty good. You know, not looking for too much. You know, and getting loose rebounds. That's and you know, ever since Tar uh, Tar Black been playing um, power for it, he been getting a lot of offensive rebounds. And people haven't been noticing. You know, he had eight rebounds, played eighteen minutes, had six points, not too bad. You know, um, I already talked about Swaggy P looking good. You know, if he playing, if Swaggy P been playing good, I don't care what nobody say. Swaggy P been, like, he might have had a couple of games where he was down, but there's games where he been freaking rolling, man. He's like the only consistent starter in our starting lineup. You know what I'm saying? While the young guys, you know, you know, finding their niche and all that, Nick Young has been the one that actually been holding the team together, man, on that starting five. You know, and like I said, the whole thing is that when you find Nick Young, Nick Young can average 20-something points when you find him. And that's what Russell did. And Russell can make Nick Young hot. And I'm telling y'all, everybody talking about trade him, this and that. Man, them guys are young, man. Y'all need to relax. Seriously, man. Stop talking about trades, man. I'm tired of hearing about the trades. You guys are so impatient. You know what I mean? Get my candy. Get my candy. God damn. I'm just joking. But anyway, yeah, come on. We don't Listen, let's just let the young guys play. You know, we like I said, we won the championship in 2010, guys. Just relax a little bit. You know what I mean? If you got to go in the corner and spank the monkey, please do. You know, release yourself because some of you guys are just stressed out. And sometimes you got to release yourself, you know, and then you'll be able to calm down a little bit. But like I said, you know, Brandon Ingram, you know, he struggled again. You know, he used to score four points. And then the dunk that Brandon Ingram done, I was so excited. You know, a little plastic man. When I'm, I'm going to start calling him plastic man, man. You know, he did, phew. You know, he just went up and said, boom, you know, he did that dunk, man. I was like, yeah, you know, good payback, you know. You know, I mean, like I said, you know, play pretty good defense. You know, and, and, and like I said, the lineup that I mentioned, you notice they put that lineup in, man. I, am I a whiz or not? I'm just messing around with you guys. But, yeah, they put that lineup in. Jordan Clarkson, three for seven. You know, um, Lou, um, Lou Walton set him down, which is a good thing because he was just, he, I don't know, like, Jordan Clarkson, this game, it was like he was just trying too hard. 
And sometimes you just gotta relax and let the game come to you. I know you want to win. You excited. You out there on the floor. You trying your best to get you know get a W. That's understandable. And I love your, I love your charisma. Like you 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 don't give up. I love it. But sometimes you gotta slow down, young brother. You know what I mean? You're still young. And a lot of people say, well, 25 is too old. Nah, dude, I'm 42 years old. And I bet you I can take half you guys that's out there right now that's only 18, 19 years old. I bet you I can lay it up on all y'all. You know what I mean? And D you up. You know what I'm saying? You wanna come test me? Let me know. Anyway, I, I wanted to see Robinson, but I didn't get to see him. You know, uh, sweet, um, you know, um, sweet Lou still do his thing. You know, twenty-one point seven for eleven. They, they, like I said, man, for, for some, and I'm, I'm just based off one game. I want to see more. I mean, you know, Julius Randle, uh, I guess it's gonna probably be out next game. I'm not too sure. I hope to see another good game like this from Russell again. I like to see him with his assists. I don't care if he averaged twelve points. I'm, a, my, me personally, I'm an old-fashioned type of guy. As a point guard, I believe that you're supposed to get the other guys involved in the game, and then the game will start slowly coming to you. And that's what happened to Russell is because, number one, he was getting everybody else involved, and then the game just opened up for him, man. He started knocking down shots. And that's how you're supposed to be. You ain't got to be quick. You got to learn how to use your strength to your ability. You know what I'm saying? If you might not be quick in a lot of other players, that's all good. But use your strength to your ability to make you accountable. With that being said, your man, Urban Lover, I love the game, man. I, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. My mother enjoyed it. My blind dog enjoyed it. He couldn't see it, but he can hear it. That's all he be saying. But anyway, I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Get in the comment section. Tell me what you think. I'm hoping the next game, DeAndre Russell, come out here. Another good game. Another good game because at the end of the day, it's always good to have the nap says, you know, just sit back and think like, damn. You know, I'm serious. That's what I've got to say. Y'all take care.